What a Now, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past two days, you must know Logan Paul has ruined himself. Possibly ruined the YouTube community as a whole, to be honest. Because what he has done is he has gone to Japan. Fantastic. He went to Japan. He started making vlogs. Big, big stuff. Massive YouTuber. He's gone on and he's promoting himself in a fantastic way. Then he goes to a place called The Suicide Forest and is surprised when he finds a dead body. Not only that, he walks up to the dead body and films it. He films it. How disrespectful can you be? And it's people like this. It's people like this who are going to ruin this wonderful social media platform. I I've seen people have made videos reacting to this awful, awful thing he's done. I've not seen a YouTuber under 50k who's made a video to do with this. What does it mean to us smaller YouTubers? Smaller YouTubers, I have 103 subscribers. In fact, I say 50k, that's a small YouTuber. 50k is a small YouTuber. And it's people like Logan Paul who have 15 million and have a, a, a much bigger net worth than people like us, who the advertisers are more than happy. More than happy to you know, advertise on their videos because millions upon millions of people see those videos. Which is exactly why he should have realised that what he's done is wrong. Millions of young people watch his videos. And he said, I made a mistake. You literally, literally walked up to a dead body and filmed it. And then carried that footage for the rest of your day. Came home. Up, like, put it on your laptop. Went to your editor. Then you put it on the editor. And then you lined up all the clips. Then you got to that clip. And what did you do? You put it in. That's not a mistake. That's, this video will probably take me a good hour and a half to edit. A good hour and a half. So it's not like he didn't have time to contemplate what he was doing. He did it for the views. He literally knew what he was doing because he carried that footage around all day. You can't claim it's a mistake when you know it's there. And you sit down and you edit. You, he could have cut it out. He could have cut, you didn't have to use this clip. For example, I'm going to be cutting out probably all the, like, short pauses I leave, because they would just annoy me if I watch the video. But, you know, I made a mistake editing the other week. I forgot to bleep out a swear word. Here's that clip. Some seeds. Oh. <sighs> He's shown a dead body on YouTube. And that my thumbnail for this video will probably take a good... I don't know, 20 minutes to make, you know, get all the PNG images and line up, stuff like that. He would have done the same. His thumbnail. His thumbnail was him next to a dead body. Imagine the scene. You, he, he, he has, he has found a dead body and he asks you to take the picture. Like, a little bit to the left, to the left. To the, is it good? Does it, it look good here? This, look, right? This is which shot. It angers me. It angers me. It genuinely does because it's people like me who do this for a hobby. The newspapers as well. They like to go after the bigger YouTubers and then blame them for the stuff millennials do. They went after Zoella. No, what are you doing? No, that's not. You can't blame YouTube for that. So what are they going to label? What are they gonna label this scenario as? Say YouTube is bad because dead bodies. <sighs> I went over to Logan Paul's channel. I have never ever been to his channel. I looked it up, and this is what I found. Right. To put it into perspective, uh, before I show you the footage uh, of what I recorded on my phone, the video in question got taken down after six hundred thousand views. Six hundred thousand. My 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 my. The, 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 my most successful video has about 2,000 views on it, and that's because it's a university-based video to help students. That's why I have 2,000 views on it. He has 600,000 views, 
and it racked up so many likes, so many likes and not enough dislikes. And this is what I found when I went to his channel. This is what I found. He has, he has 50 million subscribers. And oh, what's that top video? What? Sorry, no. Let's bring that back. What's that top video? I'm sorry. How many millions of views does that have? Now, if we scroll down, we will see his last few videos. 5 million views, 3 million views. He's got that uh, montage of 2017 that has almost 10 million views. Because that's a montage. Everyone likes to revisit what they do. This top video, what he has done. He... <laughs> He knew very well he was violating YouTube's terms and conditions. I'll see if I can find them. And I'll put them up here as well. Um, y y he knows you're not allowed to show stuff like that. He knows it was going to be taken down. And at the start of his video, he said, I'm not going to monetize this. I, I, I just, just distressing footage. You know it's distressing. Don't put it up. And because it's distressing, you're not going to get monetized anyway. Yuji will flag this. No matter how big a YouTuber you are, you'll be flagged for this immediately. Especially the title, We Found a Dead Body. It's gonna be picked up by moderators. You're not gonna get monetized. He made it out like this big gesture. I was wrong if I monetize this because, you know, it's, it's, it's someone's, it's someone's. But you weren't gonna get monetized. But the thing is, with this video he's put up, that is number one on trending, by the way, he can monetize this. The last video got 600,000 views and was taken down. This has millions upon millions. If he monetizes this, I'm going to say I haven't watched it. I'm not going to contribute to his views. If he starts it off by saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I haven't monetized this. We don't know. I can show you happily. I will show you what a monetized video looks like. He can, it's all well and good him saying, if he said on this I'm sorry video, I haven't monetized. But we don't know that. We don't know that. He, he can make thousands of dollars off that video. Thousands. Because he played it. He knew he was going to be demonetized on that stupid, stupid video. He uploads an apology video. Millions of views as people wake up to Twitter and check. Everyone going, I can't believe he did this. Can't believe he done that. And then they go to his channel and say, he's apologized. It's, it is so wrong. He's 22. How is that going to look for the rest of us on social media? I had one of my friends, as I said, um, said, oh, he makes mistakes. Yeah, like I said earlier, I made a mistake. I forgot to put out a, a, like, bleep out a curse word. Sorry. That is what p people swear a lot all the time. I, it's a wonder I haven't sworn so far. People swear all the time. People don't show dead bodies on social media all the time. Weirdly enough. Where do we go from here? With net neutral... No, I can't say neutrality. Net neutrality or something like that happening in America where the government want people to pay for the internet. It's, pe it's, it's people like this who are going to fuel it. Because if people are that desperate to see what Logan Paul gets up to... They will pay for it. If he's getting in millions of views, they know they're going to pay for YouTube, which is wrong. So wrong. America, what are you doing? So that's my two... No, no. So that's my two cents on the Logan Paul situation. It probably doesn't mean anything to anyone because I'm sitting on 103 subscribers. I'm a nobody on YouTube. But I just needed to rant. Because there's people like him with his 15 million subs and doing something like that. It's going to affect the rest of us who want to do this as a hobby. There are no more words. What he did was wrong. What he filmed was wrong. How he marketed it was right. He has got triple the amount of views on his I'm sorry video than the rest of his videos since being in Japan. That's the way the YouTube game goes. Sometimes you have to... He wants to be the first. People want to be the first to do stuff. But there are some things you do not 
want to be the first to do. In fact, I think he phrased it as YouTube history. It's not a history I want to be a part of, not a history any of you should want to be a part of. It's sick. Sick and wrong. I haven't had any caffeine today, it's just got me really riled up, and it's stupid, and... He has this thing called hashtag low gangers. It's low, low, low gang, low gang, low gang forever. Hashtag it on Twitter. And they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you made a mistake. Shut up! Be quiet! If you think that's acceptable, and that's an um, acceptable mistake to show it to young, vulnerable people who watch your channel. Then <laughs> you're doing something wrong. Honestly. Yeah.